Oh, good day, guys. Uh, Wednesday, the 18th of August, first day of the uh, three day lockdown for the South Island. Um, yeah, lunchtime, and I'm a bit bored already. So, we're going eeling, can't see if we can catch some tuna and uh, fill up them up, brine them, smoke them, get the smokehouse out, uh, see how we get on. So, there's, uh, I'm lucky enough to live in a property where there's a creek right out the back. Um, so, I'll take you down there and we'll show you and we'll get the uh, get the little fight net out. Got the net all ready to go, haven't been out for a while. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Awesome. Right here guys, gonna put the net out here, just run it along the edge of the bank, put the screen out the front and uh, should be all good. Gonna use um, some duck breasts as bait, so from this season's duck shooting, see how we get on. Alright guys, nice bit of duck breast. Put in the net. Oh no, let's see if we can get this out. Nice and tight. Perfect. All set. So Morning Fern, Laura, hey Billy boy, hey mate, hey Pip, hey, morning, oh morning guys, um, gonna go and uh, have a coffee and then uh, go and pull up this uh, inaki, uh, pull up this net, uh, fike net, um, and see if there's any eels or tuna in there, um, yeah bit of a cold frosty start this morning, Everything's all frosted up, but uh, yeah, it's a typical Marlborough day. Big old hard frost in the morning, beautiful day. So it should be good, but yeah, nah, she's a bit frosty. Oh, we'll have a coffee and we'll go down and pull up this net and see what we've got. Hey guys, back down the river, gonna pick up this net, uh, see if there's any uh, tuna in there. And uh, yeah, it's always a, the fun part, exciting whatever you're pulling up, flounder net, cray pots, eel nets, it's always the best part, you know, seeing what's in there. Hopefully, you got something. Right, oh, let's, um, I'll get into pulling it up. Awesome. Oh well guys, just got the one, uh, he's a, bit, a little bit small but um, still a feed so um, yeah that's alright, thought we would have had more in there than that but um, one's enough for a feed so certainly not being greedy, um, excellent, two two little cockabullies, or two big fat little cockabullies actually, just release them back in and they're all good so um, we'll get this one back up into the container and uh, yeah start dealing with it later on, awesome. Yeah. What do you reckon? 
Hey, you love it? Yeah. You gonna eat it? Yeah. You gonna eat it? Yeah. Will you smoke it up? Yeah. Yep. Be nice, eh? Yeah. Yum. Oh well, guys. Got the eel. Dispatched it quickly. And uh, yeah. Just taking the guts out of it. Just from its asshole all the way up to its neck. Pulled it all out. And uh, slimy, horrible things. It's heaps of way to get rid of the slime. But I just skin them out. So I cut around here and get a pair of pliers and just pull the skin right off and then I don't have to deal with the skin and then we just got the flesh That way you don't have to deal with the horrible slimy skin. It's all nice flesh. And uh, open it up, get it ready for the smoker. So that's all done. Bit of salt. Be quite generous. Pretty fresh, still moving. And the good old brown sugar. Get out of it. Right, we'll leave that for a uh, couple of hours and then we'll put it in the smoker. So we'll get the smoker all sorted, put some short ribs I'm going to be smoking at the same time. So these will only take an hour and a half, two hours, and uh, short ribs will probably take about four hours. So I'm um, going to do a bit of smoking today, but it's the second day of the lockdown, so all good, nothing else to do. Might as well do this. Awesome. Short ribs. There we go in. I marinated it in uh, a bit of salt and maple syrup. Give that a bit of a go. It's all wet, but, but you get all messy. There's a nice little bit. For me? Oh, yeah. It can be my bit. That's your bit, and there's a big bit. That can be your bit, Daddy. Okay, don't touch that, sweet up. It's been in there for about an oh, hour and a half, I think. So um, should be well done, I think. And uh, the meat's been in there even longer, so I'm gonna take, we'll take everything out and see how we go. Um, so the brisket I'm going to finish off in the uh, oven on a slow bake for about another hour on top of that and it'll just uh, yeah it'll just melt in the mouth that's got a good smoke on it it's looking real good oh yum oh guys did do the taste test can't do it without the taste test oh look at this beautiful white yum hmm Mm, yum. 
bone. Mmm, yum. Yeah, it's uh, so good. So soft. Mmm, yum. Oh, yum, look at that. Mmm. Oh, guys, that's it for me. We're going to carry on. Cook these other ones up for tea tonight. Should be all good. Cheers for watching, guys. See you on the next one. <laughs>